Hey everybody, Chris Grest here. So today I'm going to show you guys a product from a small company that I found out about last year. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the product in question is this new gun lubricant from a company called Liquid Drip. They're based out of Pennsylvania. This is a 100% all natural oil blend, non-toxic. It comes in a pretty nice bottle here as well. So I've been using this for quite a while now. I actually picked it up last fall. So I've had quite a bit of time to use some of this uh, and kind of compare to some of my other lubricants. You know, as you guys know, there are a ton of good or decent lubricants out there on the market but you know i kind of stumbled across this here and i was like oh man that sounds real cool you know being all natural blend and non-toxic because that's one of the things that you know especially with uh, if you have young children stuff like that helping you clean worried about something that they're handling that's going to be toxic or bad for their health when you get your bottle of lubricant from liquid drip comes in this nice container and when you pull the cap off it does have a little nozzle on the end which makes it really easy to apply it doesn't seem to be overly runny where you need any sort of precision nozzle so so that's kind of a good thing and like i said you do get a pretty dang big bottle here so this one here is a, a four full fluid ounces they are also over on instagram so you can see in the back here that they do have uh their instagram handle liquid drip underscore llc and they're currently selling on etsy so some of you guys might know my oldest daughter actually has her own small business and sells on Etsy. So, uh, so again, just, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. And, um, you know, when I see a good product, I'm definitely going to tell you guys about it. And, uh, this so far seems to be a really good product. So I did put it to quite the test. I took my KUSA KP9 out to the range, suppressed. And so go ahead and unload this guy, show you guys that it is clear. Okay, so I did take this thing out to the, to the gun range and ran it suppressed. I ran it as hard as I could with some of the liquid drip on there and tried to take some temperature readings of the, uh, the barrel assembly right here as well. And uh, so I have not taken it apart since I took it to the range. So again, lubricated up with the liquid drip. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this guy and see how the liquid drip fared. So decent amount of lubricity is still there on the bolt and the rails. You can see, uh, as you guys know, running anything suppressed is going to dirty the crap out of anything. So, so pretty good. Uh, adhesion there uh, with the high heat, high stress of run and suppress. And let's kind of feel the uh, hammer assembly there. So yep, still very, very slick. And if you look, look down in this rifle, you can tell it is dirty. That is one dirty looking rifle. So let's do a quick cleanup of this guy, and then I will tell you my final thoughts. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a wipe down with my liquid drip. You can see all the, the soot and stuff coming off of here. I'm one of those that tends to over oil, over clean stuff when I do clean them, so so don't mind me if I'm not cleaning something exactly the way you would. I mean, this is an AK, so uh, really you can, can run with very little lubricant if needed. And, and on top of that, this is a nine millimeter AK, which makes it even easier to run than a 7.62 by 39. All 
So just curious what you guys' cleaning regimen is on your AK rifles or your pistol caliber carbines. If you happen to have a KP9 from K KUSA, what's your what's your periodicity on your cleaning and and that sort of thing? It'd be nice to nice to see other folks' opinions. Uh, but basically, that the liquid drip acts kind of like a CLP, so cleaner lubricant protectant. And you can see here, I mean, it really didn't take a whole lot of didn't take a whole lot of work to get this kind of just cleaned up. And to me, it seems like the liquid drip did a good job of buffering the metal from carbon deposits. Everything's wiping off really, really easily. So that's always that's always a good thing. So I would say that our bolt carrier assembly is ready to rock. So go ahead and set this aside. Go ahead and do a quick wipe down on my recoil spring assembly here. That's not a big deal. Set that aside there as well. And now the, ar the arduous task of trying to get inside of trigger area, receiver area, this is always pretty fun. So let me see if I can get myself a brush out. Try to clean this stuff up inside of here as good as best I can. It's a little hard to clean the trigger assembly out on an AK without fully disassembling it, but I think I can do a pretty good job of just getting a brush in there and using a cloth. And then of course, a little bit of a wipe down with my liquid drip gun cleaner protectant lubricant looking pretty good and i don't know how many of you guys have tried out the alg trigger on an ak platform but these things are freaking the bees and knees so you polish them up real good to get any of the bumps out of the hammer assembly there and uh man the uh action on this thing is like riding on ball bearings so it's very smooth uh, AK typically will have that kind of bump you hit when you're cycling the bolt back. But if you, uh, if you do one of these upright, and I can't take credit for that. That was actually Clayco. Uh, he's got a pretty big channel, AK channel here on YouTube. And um, kind of learned that from him. Uh, I did the first one of these triggers on my Draco. All right, so now we're just going to do a quick cleanup of the bore. All right, I'm just gonna use a bore snake. My Otis doesn't have quite a long enough cable. Bore snake is impregnated with a, kind of a swab deal here with a rope and, and it's got a built-in brush. And the idea here is that you, you kind of pull this through the bore. I typically use these for field cleaning, but can't find my longer cable. So we'll go ahead and rock with this. Put a good bit of that liquid drip on there. Go ahead and pull, pull the snake through there. Do that a couple times. Now the boar snake does do a good job. They just, they get pretty nasty pretty quick. Put a good amount of stuff on there. So one other thing about this liquid drip, uh, I know he was doing some testing, some heat testing. One of the things you could uh, see from his heat testing is he was comparing, actually one of the lubricants that that I preferably use is called Slip 2000. I've been using it for probably about a decade or so. And uh, he did some stove top heat tests. And when he did that, he did comparison liquid drip to the Slip 2000. The Slip 2000 started to burn off much quicker. So, so take that for what it's worth. Like I said, there are a lot of good lubricants out there for different conditions. So, but like I said, this stuff here is definitely worth a try. And it's not terribly expensive. That's the other thing. All right, I think a couple couple passes probably will 
do good on that and we can kind of let's see here maybe i can get a get a flashlight going y'all can see down the board let's just go the other way well it looks pretty clean so i know you guys probably can't see it as well on camera but it's pretty good to me all right so what do i think about liquid drip uh, i think it's a very good product as far as lubricants go like i said there are a lot of other good lubricants out there but this one here uh, the fact that it's non-toxic um, it is an all natural lubricant not that can be drinking your lubricant or anything um, but uh has really good lubricity to it in my opinion seems to adhere well to metal and hold up um you know like showed you guys me beating the crap out of this thing and i didn't apply a whole lot i just applied just enough to coat everything uh, i probably applied more now during the cleaning uh than the original time that i applied this so but yeah definitely check them out i i will be getting a coupon code i'm going to put down below by the time that i post this guy you know any questions or comments definitely let me know on that pretty good lubricant and you guys should definitely go check them out small business i love supporting small american businesses and uh this here is definitely no exception to that All right, so I appreciate y'all watching today's video on this new product from a company called Liquid Drip. I will put a coupon code to save you a few bucks and support the channel down below. And if you have any questions or comments, of course, please put those down below. I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.